Miranda. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to hang out with me. Today's video, I received my summer Fab Fit Fun Box and it's about time. I was having a little FOMO because everyone else seemed to receive their box and I'm like, where the hell is mine? I forgot about all the add-ons that I got. It was around the time I was going add-on crazy for Ipsy, BoxyCharm, and in conclusion, I am cutting myself off buying skincare. I have so much, I only have one face and I need to get through it all. I will link my FabFitFun playlist to watch previous unboxings and if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like. Let's get unboxing. We're gonna start off with the box first and then I'll go through the add-ons. Ta-da! We have a nice, lovely catalog of all of our products and of course, the freebies that just get tossed out. This is what everything kind of looks like. So for FabFitFun, it is $50 a quarter and I think each box retails for over $200. I get the yearly plan, that way I save on costs as well as being able to customize more different products. That's like the main reason why I pay a year in advance. Your profile actually does a pretty good job in FabFitFun. I think that's at least been my experience because I definitely get more of like the beauty products in the category that FabFitFun will select for you, but I still like to be able to customize as much as I can. I think that's a great perk and their add-ons have been amazing. Like I said, I went crazy. So boxes could have retailed from $225.50 to $477. That is insane for the amount of money that you pay for it. From the first category, you could have chose from Draper James, a straw bag with floral scarf that retails for $75. The Pottery Barn Mason Ceramic Diffuser and Solstice that retails for $59. The L Space tie dye towel that retails for $58. The Yummy Kim wireless charging pad that retails for $35. The Lash MD eyelash conditioner, which retails for $69.95. And then what I chose, which is by Dr. Brandt, this is the Do Not Age with Dr. Brandt triple peptide eye cream that retails for $82. That is insane. That in itself pays more for the box and then some. I am obsessed with eye creams. Aside from my old Henriksen eye cream and my new beloved Face Tori eye cream, it's very hard for me to find a really good eye cream that actually delivers the benefits I'm looking for. I really need to help the wrinkles. I have a lot of dryness under there and some dark circles. Thank you, college and adult life. This is not much product for $82. It's 0 0.5 fluid ounces. My Face Tori one that I just talked about is 1.01 fluid ounces for $16. Huge price gap right there. But Dr. Brandt is a little bougie. I don't go out of my way to buy this brand. Every single Dr. Brandt product I have, I receive from the box. It's a very light cream. And unfortunately, I feel like a lot is gonna have to be used because it doesn't feel nearly as hydrating as the Face Tori. It seems like it's a thick cream, but there's not a lot of hydration to it. But of course, that's a first impression and not incorporated in my eye cream. And it's not used underneath my eye as well. The skin under your eye is a little bit different than like my hand. So it definitely needs to be tested out with the rest of the products to see. From category two, you could have chosen the Michael Kors Bedford Travel Passport Wallet that retails for 78. The Isaac Mizrari Blue and White Kimono, which retails for $59. The Kula Mineral Face Organic Matte Finish Sunscreen with SPF 30 that retails for $36. And then they also have a Canada option as well. The Giving Keys Mini Key Necklace that retails for $45. The Hydro Peptide Moisture Reset Face Oil that retails for $120. Or the Business and Pleasure Co. Cooler Bag that retails for $59. What I chose was the r Co Television Perfect Hair Shampoo and Conditioner Duo that retails for $64. Pretty sure this duo is a repeat because I chose it in a category in a previous box. Really liked it, haven't purchased it since, so I definitely had to choose it again. I was also torn between the oil and I'm pretty sure I added it on, but all my add-ons are in the box next to me. After this box, we'll go through the add-ons. From category three, you could have chose the black, Peel off mask and hydro gel eye mask. That's something I probably should have added on. I really enjoy their eye masks. And the reason why I didn't choose it because it's a peel off mask and I haven't had the best of luck with peel off masks. The peel off mask and eye masks retail for $59. Or you could have chose the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream that retails for $65. I actually picked that up during Boxy Pop Up. Or what I chose were these Tom's Sydney sunglasses that retail for $58. Usually for all the categories I pick out as 
many beauty items as I can, but I decided to choose a lifestyle one. I really like the shape of these sunglasses. They just really enhance my resting bitch face. But these are really dark and Polaroid. Like my box lights are not blinding me right now. I absolutely love it. These glasses are going to get a lot of use. I do need to wipe them down because there was a little bit of makeup transfer to them. Plus I have a really cute case for them because a lot of my sunglasses scratch really, really quick. And it's because I never put them in a dang case. I miss one of these. Also from category three is the Dry Bar Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler, which retails for $23. I got that item in a Fat Fun previously. Really, really liked it. My mom really likes it. And I can't remember if I added another one on. I know I can always use more hair products. I have a lot of hair, even though it looks really thin right now. We're just having a good straightening day, except there's a lot of crimps going on. That's why it's in a ponytail. Category four, we could have chosen the Zoe Ayla ice roller that retails for $30 or we could have chosen the silk satin pillowcase sleeve that retails for $29.50 or what I chose is the Terry Mare Aloe and Tea Tree Toner that retails for $54. I haven't heard of this brand. It looks and feels super bougie for a toner. And this is the only product that I like from the category. I don't know, I have one of the rollers and I'm not sure if it's doing anything for my skin. But I wanted to pass on it and I don't really need just one of my pillows to have a satin pillowcase on it. I thought it was just gonna be a waste and not get much use. I think that this toner is way overpriced. There's tea tree in it. You can also fight against acne. Category five. You could have chose Isaac Mizrahi Loves Exo Sienna Vase that retails for $28. The Lifestyle Co. Beach Mist that retails for $42. The Amica Brooklyn Bombshell Blowout Spray that retails for $25. I really like that stuff. I picked some up during the spring BoxyCharm pop-up sale. And the product that I chose is from Grace and Stella. This is the Say Hi to Hydration Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum. This is the last category that you can choose products if you are a select member. This retails for $25. I've only tried one other Grace and Stella product. It's the Rose Toner Mist that I got in a Glow Attic box and I really liked it. So I recognize the name and it's something that I haven't tried yet. I can always use a little bit more hyaluronic acid in my skincare routine because it is very beneficial if you have dry skin. To get the full effect of hyaluronic acid, make sure that you have already gone ahead and toned your face and it's still a little bit damp. That way when you go in with the serum, you're gonna get like the full penetration in your skin from hyaluronic acid. Otherwise, if your skin is a little bit more dry, you're not gonna see the full effect. So as I dispense on my hand, I'm gonna go in with a grain of salt knowing that my hand is dry and it's not already like toned with the toner right now and then I'm not gonna be getting the full effect. Like it feels really, really good right now. That serum soaked right in. My hand even feels really dry afterwards and you would think that with it being a hydrating serum, you would expect it to feel hydrated but since it was on dry skin, it still has like that dry feeling to the hand. So try it at home. Hyaluronic acid by itself, tone a hand and then put some of that hyaluronic acid on and feel the difference. And it looks like FabFitFun chose three products from this area. We could have received the Riddle Oil Original Roll-On that retails for $50 or received with what I got, which is from Winxie Lux. This is the Unibrow Universal Eyebrow Pencil that retails for $16. Universal eyebrow pencils don't really work out for me because I have really dark hair. So I'm actually gonna set it aside for a giveaway. We also received from Cali Cosmetics the Foot Cream with Menthol and Tarot Co. This retails for $24. This is something else I'm gonna set aside because foot creams is just something that I don't use and I hope someone that receives it in the giveaway can get a lot of use out of it. Could have received by Makeup Drop the Hybrid Makeup Applicator. It looks very, very similar to the Juno & Co one, but this retails for $20. Juno & Co retails for $6. Could have received the Murad Essential C Cleanser that retails for $40. I absolutely love this. Murad's products are really, really good. Highly recommend them. So if you need a brightening cleanser, I would recommend looking into that. And then the last product that they chose out for me was by Spun gel, the coconut verbena hand cream. This retails for $18. Coconut scent can be a little bit too much for me. So this is something I'm gonna set aside as much as I do need hand creams. I get really bad headaches. Case in point, the Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream. Oh, I had a migraine for two days. The last product by my favorite brand that I haven't seen in a hot minute by Wonder Beauty, the Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks, which is a six pack that retails for $25. Overall, I really thought that my box was really solid. I definitely got a nice box 
box of value with all the products that I got. I really enjoyed being a select member to be able to choose out more products. I honestly think my favorite item from this month's box are these sunglasses. I think they're just badass. I really like how dark they are. I know that sounds weird. I really like my sunglasses to be really dark. I feel like I'm getting like the most eye protection out of it. I don't really have sensitive eyes, but I do try to protect my vision as much as I can because I do have really bad vision for someone my age. I have minus six and minus five. I think it's also slightly decreased since then, but I want to get through these contacts first before getting a new prescription because contacts is expensive, especially when you're paying them and not your parents. All right, I'm normally very excited for add-ons, but I'm low-key embarrassed because I just have so much skincare right now. I am very overwhelmed. This was the time that BoxyCharm, Ipsy were doing add-ons as well. I went very ham during those two. So I kind of forgot about that for fun until it showed up in this big ass box. I'm very excited to see that I picked up another Dry Bar Pep Rally. Dry Bar is just one of my favorite hair brands. It's very, very bougie. I do have a Dry Bar hair dryer. It works really, really nice. I have a lot of hair to dry, but normally I air dry it, but I do keep it in the downstairs bathroom in case my mom visits. She likes to use it a lot. She also uses this as well. It's just really good. I have a lot of hair to maintain. It gets tangled really, really easily. It's something that I would probably just keep in the beauty room and freshen up my hair in between videos when I film. It was also from category three, an item that you could have chose and it retails for $23. I'm very happy to see the Hydro Peptide Moisture Reset Face Oil that retails for $120. Oh my gosh, this better work miracles for me because that is some bougie oil right there for one fluid ounce. Holy crap, that is a lot. Let's just add a little bit on the hand. We're only gonna do one drop for this, for the first impressions, but one drop seemed to be a lot. Like, look at that hand. It's soaking it in. It's like, mm, $120. Oh, yes. Oh, my hand feels really nice and smooth. Oh my gosh. Would I spend $120 on it? Probably not, but it was probably a really good add-on deal and that's why we are here. Definitely have to implement it in my nighttime skincare routine. I better wake up and there's no wrinkles, texture, redness, nothing. Like it just better be a smooth face. I always need Invisibobbles. So I was really excited to see that they are there. I have one in my hair right now. I'm very surprised. I have not popped one yet. I've come close to some of the scrunchy ones. They're very, very thin. I actually ended up giving those to Griffin. He has been loving those. He has noticed a difference as well, not getting as many headaches using these types of hair ties. I do expand them really fast and I know they have the hacks of just put them in hot water. No, it expands right back again. The next product is by Pure Lease. This is Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. I picked this up because I have not tried the cleansing milk. I love the eye cream. I love the moisturizer. I want to try the damn cleanser. <laughs> That's the only reason why I bought the cleanser and holy cleanser. We have 5.07 ounces in here. This cleanser is gonna last us for a while now. Pure Lease is a brand I find that is very underrated. Uh, we get a lot of their products in Ipsy, but I really like them. I've been very happy with every product that I received. So to see them in add-ons, I figured I can't go wrong because every other product that I've used hasn't disappointed me yet. And the Blue Lotus line is definitely my favorite out of all of their lines. Next by Way, this is a leave-in conditioner. I really like leave-in conditioners after I get out of the shower, spritz my hair and just let it sit, chill, do its own thing. And I haven't tried Waze before. It's a lot cheaper than the It's a 10. That's the one I'm currently using right now, running a little bit low on it. So I figured this was a great opportunity to stock up a little bit more on some leave-in conditioners because I go through it a lot. Like I just douse my hair in it. I have really, really dry hair. It takes about my hair three to four days to start greasing up. So I usually only wash my hair two to three times a week. So I feel like the leave-in conditioners conditioners really do a good job trying to keep my hair hydrated until the next wash. Trying to use other masks that aren't sleep masks. So I was a little intrigued by Tula. This is the exfoliating treatment mask. I don't think I'll be able to use this every single day, but after the kinship mask treated me, feel like it's gonna be Tula's chance to shine. I just hope there isn't a strong scent to it because I know some of Tula's skincare can have a really strong scent that actually will irritate like my eyes or my nose. Apply a thin layer on clean, dry skin. After five minutes, remove mask with warm water by massaging in a circular motion to exfoliate and release vitamin E beads used two to three times per week. So I wonder if this is gonna function a little bit like my resurfacing mask that I have by Peach and Lily. It does cause a little bit more sensitivity on me, but it does wonders. <laughs> so I wonder if I can get those same results without the sensitivity. I actually might put this next product in a giveaway because I also got one during Boxy Pop-Up. Y'all gonna love this. Elemis Anti-Aging 
Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I absolutely love Elemis. They are one of my favorite skincare brands. It's a very expensive skincare brand. So every time I see it in FabFitFun add-ons or Boxy Pop-Up, I buy every single Elemis product because it's gonna get used one way or another. The next two products I'm so excited to see, it is Rodile. You have heard me mention them a few times on my channel. My girl Catherine got me into this brand and I don't know if I should have ended our friendship there because they are an expensive brand, more expensive than Elemis. I know I was very shocked but she had gotten like a sampler set from Nordstrom and I actually stayed at her apartment one day and I tried the skincare and I'm like all right I need to try some for myself so I saw Rodile in a store called Soft Surroundings where I bought a blanket which I don't really need more blankets I can build multiple blanket forts in my house with all the blankets that I have but they had like a 50% off around Christmas time and I'm like this is my time to buy dragon's blood fat but fun add-ons come around the dragon's blood cleansing water is in it i have never clicked on an item so fast because it was about 15 dollars that is not bad for the 10.1 fluid ounces because it usually retails for 45 to 50 dollars i texted her i'm like do you still have it fun she was like no i canceled i'm like damn it because dragon's blood is in it as well as this other product which is their collagen drops i don't really know if i need collagen <laughs> drops or what but i saw the word rodile and I bought them. And there's only one fluid ounce, so this bottle better be magical. Collagen is a strong active protein that prevents and improves multiple signs of visible aging. Oh, I needed this. Slowly but surely getting the mature skin. It supports skin renewal, redensifies the complexion, visible hydration, supports skin restoration. Okay, I'm glad I got that then. <laughs> this last product I am stoked for because I just saw this at Costco and I literally shit a brick. <laughs> and Griffin was like, what are you so excited about? These pads. Oh my gosh, I call them the FabFitFun pads because I didn't really know what their names were. This is by Nazif MD. These are the detox pads. They are my absolute favorites. If you guys have been following my channel for some time now, you know that my favorite pads, the Peter Thomas Roth anti-wrinkle pads have discontinued at Ulta. I can't find them anywhere else. I know I got the Elemis ones in BoxyCharm, but these are still better in my opinion. I got these couple FabFitFun boxes ago. I usually add on a second FabFitFun box because I just love what you get. <laughs> and these pads happen to be in them. And now I have this add-on one and I just found them at Costco for 20 bucks. I'm not sure how much they retail for. I'm sure expensive. I've never seen them before outside of FabFitFun. So I was excited to see that Costco. More reasons to love Costco. Oh, they feel so good after you cleanse your face. Oh my gosh. I feel like you could even cut these pads in half because of how ginormous they are. So I feel very very wasteful using them so I just bought some sterile scissors I'm gonna use to cut up pads I would love to know if you guys get FabFitFun what items did you choose to customize your box with and which items did FabFitFun choose for you did you guys go a little add-on crazy like me let me know if you guys are excited for the fall box it just sounds weird that fall is gonna be around the corner soon because it feels like summer but it doesn't because I'm still indoors thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe before you leave and if you don't I appreciate your view anyways and I'll see you in the next video Oh,